Hey guys, Investment Coach Chris here, and I wanted to ask you, what is a trader? Have you ever stopped and asked yourself, like, what is a trader? Well, traders, traders are going to try to find value. We're trying to find value for things going up or down in the stock market. That's really what it comes down to. And, and of course, you know why we, we look for value. It's because we want to make some money. Okay, we're not going to beat around the bush here. You want to find value in things so you can make money. That's, that's what it comes down to. Now, I know it can be very confusing learning by yourself, so if you want some help, here's my Patreon and YouTube where I do free videos. All right, guys, that's enough of that. I'm sure that you don't want to hear me talk anymore. I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope it helps you. Peace. Hey guys, Investment Coach Chris here, and we're really going to ask ourselves the question, what are you trying to do as a trader? A lot of people don't exactly know what they're trying to do when they want to become a stock trader. Uh, some people think you're just throwing money randomly in different spots, but it's not really what you're doing. If you're an investor, you're in for the long haul. An investor is going to be one year hold, two, three, four, five, ten year holds, lifetime holds. A trader is essentially doing the same thing, but he's doing it in a shorter time frame. If you could buy a car today for ten thousand dollars and you could sell it next month for thirteen and make three thousand dollars, that wouldn't be a bad idea. You'd be able to make some money on a car. Trading is essentially like that. It's different than investing, and you need to understand the difference. So what exactly are we trying to do as traders? What are we trying to do? Uh, you know, well, what we're trying to do is we're trying to buy things at a lower price and then sell them later or do the opposite of what I just said. You can borrow things at a high point and if it goes down, you can sell it back to the borrower. That's called shorting, but we won't really get into that. The only thing you need to know is you're trying to find value in something that's going to go up or down in price and you do that through technical and fundamental analysis now let's look at this chart this is the SPY if you could have if you could have gotten in right here at the SPY right around this top point right here this price point was about 281 and it went down and it came back up to 281 then it came down, then it came down, and when it got all the way down here, we were at 231. Well, essentially, if you could have bought this stock or this little car for $10,000, in the car example, we flipped the car a month later and made three grand. Well, you could kind of do the same thing here. You can buy something for $231, and then later on, you can sell it for 253. Now, you may say, whoa, I can't afford to be buying multiple shares at 253 254 Well, that's okay. You know, you don't have to do like that. There's lots of stocks that have options. You have SQ there. You have IQ. Let's look at uh, Roku. You know, Roku is about $42 a share. And check this out. Today, it was on a rampage. You could have bought 100 shares at uh, $30 a piece. And then it shot up to $40, $41, and you could have made $11 per share, which would have been $1,100. And that's in the course of a day. Um, there was positive news with Roku. They signed a deal where they're going to be able to take their technology and put it into smart TVs with a manufacturer, and they're going to be able to sell more. And you could have found all that out over here on the screen with the news. Um that's essentially what you're doing as a trader. Now, there's lots of technicalities we can get into, but I just wanted to make a video explaining what the difference between a, you know, a trader and an investor is. You should be both. You should be always investing in things for the long run, but as a trader, you're looking at smaller term positions where you can capitalize. Um, you guys, I'm Investment Coach Chris. I like to keep these videos short, sweet, and to the point. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to subscribe, I do a lot of free videos. If you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching, check the link in the description box. I have a Patreon. I have uh, 
Patreon where you can donate one, two, three, four, five dollars, something in that range, and each one gives you some special privileges. Um, you can also uh, make an appointment to talk with me or video uh, Skype with me if you want to learn about trading. Uh, I dedicate my life to teaching people how to trade stocks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. It's uh, Monday the 7th of January 2019. It started off the year with Roku with a bang. Uh, hopefully we can keep it going and uh, just look for some good opportunities. All right, guys, I hope you had a good time with this video. And uh, you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope to hear from you soon. Okay, remember, trading and in investing is a little bit different but trading can be very profitable if you put in the time. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.